Last night, it was discovered that a new Wirecats book listing had appeared on the Barnes & Noble's website. The book has no name, though it is the first in a new arc called Changing Skies. Changing Skies will be the ninth arc released in Wirecats, including Dawn of the Clans. Even though a starless clan is not concluded, it is safe to say there are going to be no major changes to the status quo, given the Aaron's previous track record. Because of that, I feel secure in making speculations around the arc and what will happen in it even though the book isn't scheduled to be released for a little while. We have very little clues on what will happen besides from the name and some statements from the errands. However, a lot can be done with that. So join me as I break down what might be happening in the next arc. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I regularly post both Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats content, so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me, I wouldn't have gotten here without y'all. The biggest clue that we have for what the newest arc will contain is the title, so I will be basing most of my theories on what will happen on the title. The first theory on what changing skies could mean is the changing of Sky Clan. Whenever a clan's name is mentioned in the title of an arc, the arc is about that clan. A Vision of Shadows had Shadow in it and it was focused on Shadow Clan. However, this is hardly a pattern, as only one arc has a clan title in its name anyhow. Sky Clan is also fairly stable at the moment. They have a clear line of secession and a mediator if all else fails. I can hardly think of a reason why they would collapse in on themselves, besides first something to do with the Gorge. On the other paw, Sky Clan has always been the clan most accepting of change and bending the rules. They had daylight warriors who would appall in each world back at the gorge. They allowed kitty pets to have both their kitty pet and warrior names. They also created a new role just for one cat, something that had never been done before. Sky Clan's leader is aging, and though the line of secession is clear, that doesn't mean that whoever becomes leader won't want to try something different or make changes to the clan. My next and most unlikely idea of what changing skies will mean is that changing skies means changing territories. Changing skies would refer to them changing what sky they are living under. This means that clan cats would find a new territory or it would be about a group of cats coming to the clans, like Warrior Clan or the Cats at the Park. The clan cats finding a new territory is very unlikely, as the lake has been established as their home for generations, and the whole finding a new place to live plot can only be done once pretty much and be interesting. The second proposal is also not likely to happen. The errands do not like following perspectives outside the clans, especially not for long periods of time. This is because warriors is about, well, the warriors and not random cats that live out in the world. I would like the second one to happen because I feel like the world as a whole has not really been explored. There are so many one-off groups like the Sisters and the Tribe who are introduced once, return a few times, and then we never return to them again. Learning more about them would be nice, and a good change of pace from following clan arcs for last eight arcs. My final theory on what changing skies means is that the sky referred to is Silverpelt, aka Star Clan. I don't think the Aarons would write another arc about Star Clan and its afterlife troubles as the Broken Code was just an arc or so ago. If they did, they would have to do something drastic. We already have had a war between Heaven and Hell and a battle against Cat Satan. What could top that? Perhaps something to do with the Ancients. Or more super-powered cats who totally have the power of the stars in their paws. But this time, it actually means something, as the last time, the cats with the power of the stars in their claws really did nothing except just, like, fight battles. They didn't challenge Star Clan or completely reform it. This arc could lead to a complete reform of Star Clan, but the last time that we had an option to do so in the Broken Code, the errands completely cheaped out on us. So, it's not very likely. Let's move on to some other predictions for Changing Skies that are not based on its name. I believe Changing Skies will have a protagonist from Wind Clan. Wind Clan is the only clan without a main book protagonist at this point, so I feel like the Aarons will be checking them off their list in the next arc. I believe that the Wind Clan protagonist might be Whistlepaw or at least be related to her. The Aarons have said that they are giving Whistlepaw a more important role in the upcoming books. Though they might not give her a perspective, they might have her introduced perspective for the next books. I also believe that Ivy Pool's heart might be required reading or at least helpful to understand its arc. In the book's description, they talk about secrets that will shake the lake. Though this might be typical dramatic advertising, the book will be published three months before Changing Skies is published. 
In the past, errands have published books relating to an arc's events right before an arc happens, or within the first two or so books of an arc. Squirrel Flight's Hope is an example of this, as it introduced the sisters in full, though they had been hinted at by Tree before. But enough with the contents of the arc, there are a lot of questions on whether or not the arc will be any good at all. Recent arcs have been accused of containing more and more filler, which I agree with. Half of the broken code were cats sitting around and discussing the imposter. Both Sunbeam and Nightheart's POVs could be omitted and you could understand the entire plot of a starless clan without pretty much anything else needing to be said to you. There's also the simple fact that Warrior Cats is a series that has lasted 9 arcs now. As the series goes on, it is unlikely it will get better. One can see it is with the MCU and its regression. Also, the first book in Changing Skies is listed as being released not too long after Star, the last book in a Starless Clan. It's listed as being published two months after Star, exactly. Book publishing dates are subject to change, however, if they put it out at the date listed, the book will absolutely be rushed. The errands sometimes don't properly plan their arcs out, such as A Vision of Shadows. Though Broken Code and Starless Clan were much better in that regard, we might still have a situation where they accidentally kill off the main antagonist halfway through and have no one to replace them, or they write the barest outline of an arc and they have to stretch it with a lot of filler. Adding another arc also makes it harder for new readers to get into Warrior Cats. Unless this arc is the one that is meant to be a new jumping off point, it might not get many new readers. Then again, a large number of Warrior Cats fans don't actually read the books, as it is, and instead watch videos on them in order to understand their plots, like my videos. But those are all the thoughts I have on the newest arc. What do you think will happen? Do you think it will be any good? Comment down below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats videos pretty often, and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who are already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I wouldn't have gotten here without y'all. Peace, Rogan out.